Guide for the Perplexed, 1190, by Maimonides, also known as Moses ben Maimon, is a seminal work of Jewish thought addressing the conflict that many Jews of his time felt between the religious teachings of the Torah and the rationalist philosophy of Aristotle. Written in Arabic and later translated into Hebrew as More Nevuchim, it seeks to reconcile Jewish scripture with Aristotelian philosophy, helping those intellectually troubled by the contradictions between religious tradition and philosophical inquiry. Maimonides starts by explaining that contradictions between the Bible and philosophy arise from misunderstandings of scriptural metaphors. He insists that many expressions in the scriptures are metaphorical and should not be taken literally. This is especially true when scripture describes God as human language cannot encapsulate the divine essence. For example, when the Bible attributes human emotions or physical characteristics to God, it does not mean that God has a body or experiences emotions as humans do, but rather it is a way to describe God's actions in terms humans can understand. Maimonides advocates for a process of careful interpretation to decipher these metaphors. To guide the perplexed, he elaborates on the nature of God, describing Him as the ultimate unity, without form, incorporeal, and incomprehensible. God's attributes mentioned in the Bible are not to be seen as intrinsic qualities, but rather as expressions of His actions or the negation of their opposites. To know God, one must study the natural world, as understanding creation gives insight into the Creator. Maimonides delves into the structure of the universe, which is seen through the lens of Aristotelian and Ptolemaic cosmology. The geocentric model is the scientific understanding of his time, with the Earth at the center surrounded by concentric spheres, each carrying the planets, sun, moon, and fixed stars. Beyond these spheres exists the prime mover, or God, who is the ultimate cause of all motion in the universe. In discussing prophecy, Maimonides views it as a level of intellectual and spiritual perfection obtainable by a select few. Prophets are individuals who, through philosophical understanding and ethical perfection, have developed their intellect to the point where they can perceive truths beyond the capacity of ordinary people. Moses, the greatest of prophets, had such an unparalleled clarity of understanding that he could comprehend God's will directly without the use of imagery or intermediaries. Regarding the issue of evil, Maimonides argues that evil is not a presence, but rather an absence of good, a lack rather than a substance. Therefore, the problem of evil does not contradict God's goodness and omnipotence, because evil is not something created by God but results from the deficiency in things. The existence of evil challenges individuals to practice free will, making virtuous choices while recognizing that natural disasters and suffering are not inherently evil. The perfection of the soul, according to Maimonides, is of utmost importance. This perfection is achieved through intellectual and moral virtues. The pursuit of knowledge, especially the study of God's works, is a crucial endeavor for those seeking closeness to the divine. Moral virtues relate to the harmonious functioning of society and are developed through adherence to the laws provided by God. The laws of the Torah are not only religious directives, but also have philosophical underpinnings, with detailed prescriptions that ensure societal and individual well-being. Maimonides discusses the concepts of the Messianic period and the afterlife in a rationalist framework. He anticipates a future time when the Jewish people will return to the land of Israel and live in peace, governed by the Messiah, a king who will restore the Davidic dynasty. This period is not seen as supernatural, but rather as a historical era marked by universal acceptance of monotheism and adherence to moral laws. The afterlife, in Maimonides' view, is an immaterial existence where the soul, separated from the body after death, enjoys a direct intellectual apprehension of the divine. This ultimate connection with God is the highest reward for the righteous and is not based on physical pleasures or punishments. Throughout the work, Maimonides stresses the importance of logic and philosophical inquiry. He encourages his readers to question, critique, and apply rational analysis to their study of both philosophy and religious texts. However, he also emphasizes that not all philosophical concepts are compatible with religious truth, and the study must be approached with caution, balancing reason with faith. 
Guide for the Perplexed concludes by reaffirming the compatibility between Judaism and rational philosophy, advocating for the continuous pursuit of knowledge, the striving for moral and intellectual virtues, and the maintenance of a harmonious relationship between religion and reason. By addressing challenging questions and providing a framework for understanding, Maimonides offers a path for the intellectually troubled to find peace and purpose in their religious and intellectual lives.